Welcome back everybody. What a what a beautiful day it is outside. And we're working. Getting her done. So I got some teeth put in her. She needed just a few teeth, not a whole lot. So I put some new teeth in her. A couple of them were bad, so I said, you know what, you can kind of tell where I put the new ones in. And everything else is good. There's one up there. She got new teeth in her, but today. There's a bird right here somewhere that bit me. But I, I built this. And by I built it, I mean I, I, I cut it, then uh, Brian welded it for me. So, so it'll hold together, but that goes in there. You do that, and it pops the uh, rivets out like this. It pops those out inside there. That's what you use to pop it out. And that's what then to hammer them in, you shove that in there and hammer them in. And they turn out pretty good. So yeah. It's a little long, that way she's in there good that way it's in there, you know, good and tight. Good and snug, that's the idea. So I threw a little quick yellow spray paint on it so I can throw it up in the cab so it don't get lost. You know what I mean? Make that stupid air compressor to shut off. But yeah, I got that done today. That was my little, wasn't a whole lot. Just a few. Just a few, you know. That's what I used to smack them out of there. junk ones so yeah we did that and uh, Josh has him a bunch of work to do ginger there that's a bunch of the plastics for the uh, inside there and these bolt on there's like steel in there this is steel right here and they got this hard plastic on them on both sides but those on the flail so the chains can hit this instead of the wall of the chipper so we did one flail drum and the other two are bad so these are for the other two flail drums so one little piece there for the bottom drum and those are all the bolts and what have you so yeah yep that's that the slash was coming along real nice um, today I filled her up with hydraulic fluid. It took me forever because we only had one five gallon bucket over there and I put 35 gallons in her today. We're right, that's supposed to be here. That's getting picked up right now. So once that gets picked up, then we can, we can literally throw that in there. It's just got to be repacked and put in there. And then what I need to do is we still haven't put that in there. It's simple three bolts and uh, this will be ready to go for Monday so hopefully get this wrapped up today but uh, so the hydraulic tank has a little full action right here and uh, it pumps it up through there and that used to be a half inch hose and it went from three quarter down to a half and it took forever to get hydraulic fluid so me being irritated when I had a few minutes, I put a hose on there that was laying around, and uh, now it's up to three quarter inch. It'll drain a five gallon bucket in like 25 seconds, where it used to take like, used to whenever you do it, it'd take like five minutes. And so what I'd do is I'd find a chunk of wood out there somewhere and shove it in there so you didn't have to hold the button down. But now you don't have to do that. And I put the sight gauge back in here. So, way back in there, you can't see it. You know? And it freezes about a gallon low. And then I started to work on looking at the gauges and trying to figure out if we can get the gauges fixed on this. Um, that was my next project, was to start checking 
but that was the idea was to check the sending units on everything and uh, make sure everything's hooked up properly. Kind of the idea there. So that's that. And um, Jeremy's repacking the bearings. Oh, this right here. Have we talked about this? She's uh, snugged right up tight now. She is rock solid. So that's fixed. I forget what all we've went over. All this is fixed. All that's new. Wrapped safety protection, longer lasting. I took out a splice in there and we made it so she's straight through, nice smooth. Um, but uh, he's repacking bearings for this. Um, so that'll work out good. It'll work out real well. Real well. That's kind of what's going on with that. Let's see what he's... I think he's just got the bearings all cleaned off over here in the wash bay. These are all hubs for the 2355 that are all getting rebuilt and put back together and cleaned all up. All the bottom feed wheels have that style hub on them. So those are getting all new seals and all that. Those are getting, and those are the motors there for them. Fun, fun, fun. Oh yeah, here we go. He's getting them all greased up, the fun part. So, yeah, looking real good there. Got them all cleaned up, put it all back together, and then they should be good to go. But this is a little, there's a injector pump for the 3412. There's a junk 7.3. There's all kinds of goodies laying around here you could tinker with. <laughs> Stick your hand in there, baby. Right up to the elbows. But, you know, that's what's been going on today. The old slasher's finally coming around. Like I said, they're picking up that part. Hopefully we can get that put back together. And then uh, get this shipped out Monday. Head off to the, uh, I'll tell you, this one goes up to the new chipper with uh, Mr. Josh. So that's that. That's going to go up there. We got some logs to cut up there. They've already sorted and we got wood everywhere waiting for this thing to show up. So the sooner this can get done, the better. We're going to get this baby up there. But, uh, oh, I moved the, uh, that was another big project I had. I moved the um, antenna up there and on the side. So. <laughs> nope, she's coming along. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. Schnazzy. But, uh, yeah. She needs to be out in the woods cutting logs, not sitting down here. But, like I said, we're waiting on that. That'll get here. Repack it, throw it that cylinder in that ram in that cylinder. Everything will be ready to go. So, one little thing is she's getting a good tune up, that's for sure. Oh, we got new swivels on all here. I, I, I forget what I told you because it's been, been a few days. Videos are kind of wild. I apologize. I will discuss it at a later point, but not right now. I'll do, I'll, I'll come back at you later and discuss. Um, John's mental issues, but yeah, we'll discuss it later when some stuff's done of why John's not making videos. Nothing, nothing major, nothing, nothing, nothing like crazy wild or nothing, just uh, ignorance. Ignorance has got me all worked up, you know what I mean? But we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Everything's rolling, and we're going to just keep rolling because it's about all we can do. You know what I mean? Some people you just can't please. So, thanks for rolling. Thanks for rolling. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Just keep rolling. We'll catch you later. Uh, who knows what will be next, but this baby, 
I mean, she's ready to saw. Yeah. 